all right so uh, the video uh, is going to be uh, english hindi mix uh, of course so uh, uh, today uh, in the cabin uh, second engineer cabin कैबिन को इन बाद में देखेंगे आज हम पिस्टन क्राउन चेंज कर रहे हैं बिकॉज जो पिस्टन क्राउन पुराना था वो ख़राब हो गया है उसकी क्लियरेंस बढ़ गई है पिस्टन रिंग्स की ब्रेकेज हो रही है उसकी वजह से तो पुराना क्राउन हटा के व्हील फोटा न्यू क्राउन तो सारा हम काम जाम खुला हुआ है तो लेट्स गो टू इंजन रूम आज भी Right, so this is our piston, uh, the play toy today, and here you can see the junior engineer is uh, assisting the fitter. He is doing cleaning of the lubrication quills that are provided for the piston that you know for the cockle shaker effect. Here you can see these quills help the lubrication oil to go into the uh, the uh, combustion area, the uh, aft of the combustion area where it cools the piston, and uh, then uh, the hole in the piston rod assists in taking it back into the sump. So we are trying to clean this one and uh, we will put the new skirt. You can see Viper in the background, he is cleaning the wax that comes on the new skirt, new spare parts. He is cleaning that and uh, once we uh, it is done with uh, some lubricant you can use or you can use uh, diesel for that matter. And uh, now we will bring the skirt. The role of second engineer is to supervise and uh, to operate the crane. It is a critical operation, it's taking care of everybody's safety. And uh, you see the skirt. You have this uh, copper lining over here. This copper lining is for uh, Sipwa Sulzer Integrated Piston uh, Wear Analysis. There is a sensor on uh, outside the liner jacket, uh, which senses uh, the condition of the ring by. The electronic uh, signals. Now we are mounting the skirts. It uh, we have to uh, check that the double pin, if provided, or if you have set screws, they should go directly into the slot. This is our old crown uh, which we are going to scrap. Not scrap, but we will send it for reconditioning. This is our new crown. The cause of uh, this uh, damage is uh, of the piston rings. We found uh, why we changed this uh, piston is just because we found the uh, the piston rings broken during the scaven space inspection. And uh, I'll create a separate video for scaven space inspection. Now we are going to lift this new crown over here, and uh, <coughs> you see it's uh, shining nicely because th this is a reconditioned product, not the new one. Now. This is going to be the final picture, the crown with the skirt. And you see uh, the holes in the center, these holes will take the lubrication quills into them. So while fitting it back, you have to take special care that the dowel pin should be, you know, in the right position so that each slot receives the lubrication quill. Now we are mounting the special tool provided by the manufacturer of the engine that is Sulzer. It can be for the man as well, man BMW. Upon uh, installing this tool, we will invert this piston, and the crown, uh, the crown side, the the heating side will come up. So here you can uh, check out the time lapse uh, which I created uh, uh, with the GoPro. The skirt is already in place and uh, here comes the crown we are putting the crown and this is how the double pin looks like uh, this double pin will set the crown in the right place it is of paramount importance to tighten the parts as per the maker's specification so definitely you check out the manual while doing so and here comes the new piston we have to check the axial and radial clearance of the piston ring grooves and also we have to check for the condition of the the copper tubes which are on the new liner for the sipo as i told you and uh, let's move on to the old liner and we will check the clearances just to use and here comes our old hero the crown the surface is not burnt 
uh, we put the tool and everything is fine but here over here the clearance the axial clearance the butt clearance has already increased because of overuse uh, of this crown now uh, just simply take a one year uh, the ideal uh, makers instruction is uh, 20 mm for the axial and here I found out to be more than 21 in some places uh, in uh, ring number 3 it was 22 we found ring number 3 broken and ring number 4 was almost in uh, poor condition so now we will go and uh, calibrate the new crown there is a tool provided uh, which you have to mount on the top of the uh, piston crown and then you have to check the clearance it should not be more than 10 mm the next step comes out to be checking the axial clearance of the uh, the ring groove and also the radial clearance of the ring groove it has to be as per makers specification be it new crown be it reconditioned it has to match the makers specification and uh, you can see the crew is preparing the screw bolts and uh, ready for tightening with sledgehammer yes so because here uh, the tightening procedure is not by the torque it is by completely hand tight and after hand tight 15 degrees more that that is a procedure so that is why you, you are seeing the person uh, he is a fitter Bahubali <laughs> that's what we call him uh, he is Vijay Yadav for that matter and uh, now we are rotating the piston on the piston stand this is a dedicated stand that we have pro uh, got from the manufacturer we will keep on rotating uh, this and uh, he will keep on hammering so all engine room work is basically team work here comes the pressure testing pressure testing the piston for the leakages uh, because you put one o-ring I mean, uh, th this o-ring part is missed in the video we are taking it at 3 three bar and increasing it to 4 bar so if you are increasing it to 4 bar the pressure should hold and uh, here comes the soap solution in between here uh, the skirt and crown there was one o-ring which I did not cover in the video this o-ring uh, uh, you know it will keep a check on the leakages so once you are done with the pressure testing the uh, piston should not leak hold it for 30 minutes or so if the piston is not leaking if uh, the air and water mixture is not getting lost then your piston is ready to serve for the next time stay tuned for more technical videos and if you find uh, the information provided is not sufficient or you want you have any questions you can drop in in the comments and i hope you will like the video thank you Stay tuned to Sailor Success and uh, subscribe and ask your friends because I am going to put more and more technical videos which will help you in the long run. Thank you.